a favorites. I haven't done one of those in a while. So I have my little notebook here that has all my stuff written down and you know, there's two pages worth. But trust me, we will get through this. So I'm gonna do lifestyle, beauty and fashion, and I guess music. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is plants. My goal of my room was to be like the artsy style, but also kind of minimalistic. I'm not exactly most happiest with my room. I mean, it's a little messy right now, but you know, that's just cause I shoved everything off my bed. I wanted to make sure that I got plants for my room. So I have a real plant. It's really healthy, even though some of the leaves are yellow, but a lot of them are green and healthy and you know, standing up like that. And I also have some cacti and two of them died. <laughs> there was four, now there's two. I don't even know how I killed them. That sounded weird saying that. I don't even know how, you know, they died. <laughs> I just let it take its course. And now I have two cacti. Another thing that I wanna talk about is my essential oils and you know, the humidifier, is that a humidifier? I don't really know. But you know, you dip your little essential oils in the machine and then it makes your room smell all pepperminty because I like using peppermint. I also use lavender essential oils are kind of expensive so if you're gonna get essential oils make sure you get like big bottles and then also get it in a pack yeah you can find them at like marshall's or tj maxx or if you want to go all out and be expensive you can find it at urban outfitters another thing i want to talk about is working out and like drinking water and eating healthy i have been a vegetarian or pescatarian i guess a pescatarian for maybe like a year now or maybe two years but you know every now and then I cheat I haven't cheated in like a month though I've been trying not to snack a lot because usually I end up bringing like grapes and crackers to school and, and by the time I get to lunch I'm not hungry and then I get home and I'm starving so instead of making food I make a snack also I try to drink about one of these or maybe one and a half I been forcing myself to drink a whole bunch of water especially because you know when you drink water it helps you know drain things sometimes but yeah that was oh. lifestyle now i'm going to talk about beauty and fashion which is you know a large portion of my day is spent talking about how much i should spend on this and how much i shouldn't spend on that and how you can buy this sweater at marshall's and I just realized that the other day and I bought it at Forever 21 for like $25 and it was at Marshall's for like 10. And you know, I was a little bit upset and they had like 10 other colors while this at Forever 21 had two, you know. So I wanna talk about my face wash or like routine and all that stuff. So every day, twice a day, I use my e.l.f. daily face cleanser. Yeah, this is what we're talking about guys, face cleanser. Don't get it if you have dry skin because then it will just dry your skin out more. So only get it if you have oily skin. It helps because then your face isn't that greasy by the end of the day. But you know, it dries it out a little bit so that your face isn't super oily throughout the day. And then at night, I use my Clinique charcoal cleansing gel. It's a face wash, obviously. Another thing I use in the morning is the e.l.f. illuminating moisturizer, you know, to give you that natural glow. Instead of using regular lotions on my face because that breaks my face out sometimes. Not many pimples going on there. And the last thing I use, which I put on night and day, or just when I feel like it, is the Mario Betascu. Bit Betascu. How do you say that? I don't even know. The next thing we're gonna talk about is clothing. My favorite. So I'm just gonna mention some of my favorite clothing pieces or whatever that I wear kind of like too much, you know? I try to spread out my clothes. Since I wore this top this week, I'll wear it the week after that, but the week after that is Christmas break for me, so it doesn't even matter. Sometimes I don't care, but like for my own personal need, I usually like to pair this yellow sweater with some dark blue jeans. I don't even know what type of jeans those are, but they're really interesting. And usually when I'm buying jeans, I like to buy jeans that are very like different and not just normal skinny jeans. I don't know what I have against skinny jeans, but every time I see them, I just don't want them. Um, I also pair this with 
my gradient jeans. They're not really a gradient. It goes from like a lighter color to dark. I pair them with those jeans and they're really cute. I'm gonna be upset when the day comes that I don't fit them anymore. <laughs> Another top that I like, it's very similar to this one, is my navy blue sweater. I just call it navy blue because that's the main color but it has many other colors on it and I pair it with what are they called high water jeans I guess they're wide leg not really wide leg but kind of wide leg another top I usually wear with those jeans a long sleeve shirt and it has burgundy blue white and like a mustard type yellow on it I love that shirt <laughs> one of the few long sleeve shirts that I have I don't have many sweaters either but I have a lot of hoodies but hoodies aren't really my style now the shoes that I have been wearing like every day are my black and white old school platform vans I don't know what it is about platform vans that I love so much I just love platform vans I like them better than the regular ones so every time I get a chance to buy a pair of vans their platform like the next pair which are crepe leaf and true white that's what the box said. Old school platform vans. I love them. I wear them as like fancy vans, I guess you can say. But I do wear them every now and then, making sure I'm not getting them dirty because those are my nice vans and my black and white ones are my everyday vans. Another pair of shoes that I've talked about before on this channel are my white and varsity red classic Cortez Nikes. I explained this before, but when I saw that some models were wearing them on Urban Outfitters, I think, and I saw that Marla Catherine was wearing them, I was like, I love those shoes. Where can I get them? And they were $75, which is better than what I thought they were going to be, so yeah i also love wearing them but i don't wear those often as well because they are white shoes and i don't know if you've seen them before but my converse are not white anymore nowhere near white my dad wants me to buy new white converse and i'm just not going to do that another pair of shoes that i just got that i also love but i haven't worn because they're too small are the fila disruptors 2 premium they were $65. I think they were on sale though when I got them. I ordered them from Urban Outfitters and nobody told me that these shoes run small. So I got them in a seven and a half because my feet grew. So I'm a seven and a half now, which is a weird size because not all shoes come in half sizes. So I have those Fila's. They're beautiful. They're all white. They're the version two. They're not the ones that, you know, most people have, even though I want those ones as well. Now for the jackets slash coats or whatever you want to call it, a sweater even. So even though it is now freezing cold outside because we are experiencing like 30 to 20 degree weather, I love wearing my blue denim jacket from Forever 21 with my Doty pin on it. I love that jacket. It reminds me of the 70s slash 80s and I love that style. I don't really dress like that. I mean, I kind of dress like the 70s. My style has changed, like heavily dressed like I was from the 70s, but now I'm like, I don't know. I dress like I'm from the 80s and 90s now more. But yeah, the jacket just reminds me of the 70s and 80s. Another coat that is very popular is the teddy coat. And I got mine from Garage. It was $75, no, 76, cause it's plus tax. A gift card to Garage and I went straight to Garage and that's the first thing I purchased because I saw it like a month before my birthday and I wanted it so bad, so I just got it. <laughs> I don't really wear it that often though because I feel that it's something, it's not an everyday coat. It, you kind of need to pair it with your outfit. It like kind of needs to go. Well, the teddy coat that I got, I got it in brown. So I don't know if it will match with everything I wear. I wore it today with this. It went. I wore it the other day also. Took some pictures. Thought it looked cute. Also wore one of my favorite shirts as well as pants as well as shoes as well as socks. So you know I was feeling myself that day. And the last coat, sweater, jacket, whatever you want to call it, is my black fluffy sweater that I like regularly wear. I wear it around school. People don't know what cold is in my school people still want the windows open the heat will be on for two minutes and people will say it's too hot so then they turn the air on and then it gets cold and i'm just shivering in the back so i always bring this sweater with me to my classes and if it's not 
too cold outside, then I'll usually wear that. Now we're gonna be moving on to artists and music. So, of course, I have to talk about this man right here, Mac DeMarco. Not too long ago, he put out a new album. Well, it was just the demos of the of the songs from This Old Dog. I happen to just love some of those demos more than the actual songs themselves. But two of the songs I suggest are No Sunny Days and also Frog Hollow. Frog Hollow doesn't have words, but it's a really nice beat to it and it's a nice chill song. Another artist, I don't know if I've mentioned her, but if I have, it's Claro. And she put out a song not too long ago. I think maybe the beginning of fall, she put out the song Heaven. It was used in like a Jaden Smith movie or something. I don't really remember. But it's a really nice song and the music video is beautiful too. So, you know, you should go and watch it. I love how I just suggested a new song, but I'm also going to suggest the old song, which is only on her SoundCloud. Maybe it's on her YouTube, but I think it's only on her SoundCloud and it's Enemy. And I love that song too. It just reminds me, like, I don't know. I'm upset that it's only on her SoundCloud. I've been on SoundCloud long enough that I've found some artists that I actually like on there. But I mainly found them through YouTube anyways, so. And of course, I have to mention this, I was gonna say this person, but it's more than one person. It's seven. Can you guess? Begins with a B, ends with an S. There's a T in there too. <laughs> if you couldn't guess already by the letters in the poster over there, it's BTS. Now, most people, every time I say, oh, I listen to BTS, so they're like, oh, you like K-pop? Um, yes, why? But technically, I can't really say I like K-pop if I only listen to one artist, you know, one group. So I don't really say, oh yeah, I listen to K-pop. I, I will say like, yeah, I listen to BTS. Every time somebody figures out it's K-pop, they automatically are like, oh, no. But I have some song suggestions for BTS. These are kind of like the underrated ones. Um, not really. I mean, they could have, you know. Well, actually, two of them aren't underrated, so yeah. <laughs> um, so the first one I'm going to suggest is 134340 from the album Tear. This song is amazing and it's nice and chill. Of course, it kind of has like my vibe to it. I didn't think I would like BTS music mainly because it's not like alternative or like indie rock or something like that because that's usually what I listen to. But then I heard this song and I fell in love. I mean, this song isn't one of the reasons why I fell in love. I would always get suggestions for like the little videos that people make of them and I found them hilarious, <laughs> one. <laughs> also, like the little the songs that they put in and then eventually I grew to like their faces. See, look, I have a little Namjoonie here. Um, but yes, 134340 is amazing and it has such Suga and J-Hope vibes on it. It's just an amazing song. Another song I have, which is a solo, is Intro to the Most Beautiful Moment in Life. <sighs> I love that song so much. And I don't fully know what he's saying because I haven't studied the lyrics yet, but it's just amazing. And you can hear the dedication and just the energy. It's just amazing. The song itself is amazing. Another song I have, it's an old one, is Coffee. That's also a nice chill song. I fall asleep to that song a lot. As well as Intro to the Most Beautiful Moment in Life. Those are like the two that I fall asleep to. Coffee is amazing. And I love the way they say um, Caramel Macchiato. They're like, Caramel Macchiato. I can't really sing it how they sing it, of course. I don't have um, their voices, so. Okay, okay, next song. The next song is Where Are You From? From School Love Affair, that album. I think it's that album. That, I love that song. It has such Yoongi and J-Hope vibes on it, and uh, I love it so much. I love J-Hope's part because it's just the extraness that he always has in it. And the next song, Namjoon's solo song, it's just, it's trivia, love, that's what it's called, trivia, dot dot, love, <laughs> well, trivia, colon, love. I love that. He's like, I live so love, I live so love. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's like, once again, one of those songs where you're just like, you know, it's just one of those songs that you can jam out to. And the last song before I go crazy is 
uh, Yoongi solo song, which is Seesaw. Trivia, colon, Seesaw. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, the last song is Trivia Colon Seesaw. I love that song so much. I listen to all these songs that I named like three times a day because I have like a playlist of their songs like in a, in a certain order that I like it, you know, including like their solo albums and mixtapes and stuff. So I listen to these songs like three times a day. I love this song because like Yoongi is like my second bias. Actually... He's kind of like second slash third because Jimin is also second slash third so I can't really like tell and just Taehyung's one because like somebody said on Instagram he's aging like a fine wine. That sounded really weird out loud but if you saw this man you know what I mean. <laughs> It was really hard narrowing down this list of BTS songs that I love. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna do another one of these favorites where I talk about them again. Those are all the few little BTS songs, just the few that I love. They have a lot of songs. And then I would have also said I also like the performances that goes with those songs. But yes, those were all my favorites. I would have said jewelry, but you know, I didn't want to make this too long and I've already sat through about 40 minutes sitting here talking about my favorites. That's like a lot to edit. <laughs> I don't even know if my computer will be able to handle that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, whatever you want. Maybe you just somehow passed by and you didn't watch this whole thing. So thanks for watching all the way till this point. I hope you liked it. I don't even know. December favorites? I mean, we're only at the beginning of December, so I can't really say it's December favorites. Okay. Bye!